Hey, what's up, y'all? It's the big homie Eric Tia. Look, I'm trying to put a smile on my face, but I have to admit, last night was another bad night for the city. A young man's body was found in South Lake Charles. It's believed that he was killed near the Coliseum. Now, one of his body parts were found there along with a weapon and bullet casings. The mayor and chief of police are not releasing the name of the young man, so it's still a mystery on who it is. But you already know it's sparking major controversy around the city of Lake Charles because the people are demanding answers. We need to get something figured out, y'all. It's no joke. Be careful. If you don't have to travel by yourself, please don't do it. Keep it here. You know, we've got all the details, all right? Now stick around. So let me get this straight. You found Inu, the vampire, and then he kidnapped you. But besides that, he's cool. And then he tells you about another vampire, Alistair Black. Gray. Oh, Alistair Gray, who is our real bloodthirsty serial killer vampire, and who he agreed to help you find, but as long as when you do find him, you don't put a stake through his heart, but you, you give him a mean talking to? And you agree to that? Yes. So, this is where I take my leave. Good luck counseling your deranged serial killer. You actually want more people to die? Look, for all you know, Inu is your serial killer. Probably just trying to lure you out of the same place so we can have some kind of vampire orgy feast on all of you. I'm not trying to get vampire orgy feasted on. No thanks. You don't have to leave. You can stay and help us. I'm trying to. Don't do this. Good luck. a woman. Uh, I knew this woman one time in Dallas. Mm. And if she knew who I was right now, she'd be doing the same shit to the city. Was she black? <laughs> well, does it matter if she was black? <laughs> just a question, man. Just asking a question. Just answer the question. Was she black? Nah, she wasn't black. But my ex-wife was black. Really? Yeah, why? Well, you don't think I can give it a black woman yeah, or something? I didn't say that. I just... Just didn't picture it, that's all. I 
mean, she wasn't really my wife, <laughs> but uh. I knew it. You said it way too fast. <laughs> I mean, look, if she would have let me. <laughs> yeah, like I, uh, y'all heard about you. I heard about California and everything. I mean, obviously I wasn't there, so. I'm not saying I believe it all. You regret any of it? A few years back, I just finished up an investigation of me and a couple of guys from the station were out grabbing a drink. <laughs> Nothing too crazy, you know, typical LA night. It's about 11.30 p.m. I decided to head out and I parked about five blocks down from where we were at. So I began walking to my car. About four blocks in, I hear this strange noise down this alleyway. It sounded like someone was trying to say something, but it was like a hand covering the mouth or something crazy. You know? So I pull out my Glock and I stumble into the alleyway. And whoever was down there must have heard me flopping around. So before you know it, a 14 year old girl comes running from behind this dumpster. Turns out she lives about a block away. Hey, motherfucker, you got five seconds to show me your hands. I'm gonna blow your fucking brains out. Five, four, three. Too. Before I got to one, this big, ugly motherfucker comes from behind this fucking dumpster with a 9mm pointing in my direction. Puts his gun down. For some reason, I just didn't shoot him. Turns out he's a fucking cop. He just pleads and begs me not to turn him in, but I did. The girl testifies against him, they sentence him. They give him three weeks in jail. Three fucking weeks. Two months later, I'm watching the news, and he's back in jail again, but this time for killing a kid. Innocent black kid walking home from school. Shot him in the back. The only regret I have is not killing that piece of shit when I had the chance. I get it, man. Like, I mean, you take one look at me. Flamingo shirt, walking around. They think I don't care. But the truth is, I do. I mean, this is my fucking city. So I gotta do what I gotta do. Man. Yeah, I'll go for Shane. Hell yeah, bro. Hey, are you serious? Serious? Like, you got him. Bro, that's great fucking work, bro. Great fucking police work, bro. All right, man. Thank you. What is it? We got him. We got the motherfucker. Uh, who else knows about this? No, no. Just us two right now. Right. Yeah, they say he's got a, uh, he's in a fucking small house right next to an abandoned building, bro. All right, let's go get this let's motherfucker. Get this motherfucker, baby. <laughs> let's rock. As the mayor of Lake Charles, do you feel like you're doing a good job? I feel like we're doing everything in our power, um, coordinating amongst offices um, to find the best solutions. Um, the curfew was um, the idea of the mayor's office. Um, and as far as keeping everybody safe, you know, we, you know, like I said, me. But what are you doing in particular? Not, not, not the people you have going out and doing stuff. What are you doing? Well, you're not sitting in your office taking meetings. What are you actually doing? Me, in particular, well, all I can do is help and branch out all of the departments in the city, bring all of our resources together, and give a few ideas. Um, what I want to do is I want to connect all of us and find the best solution. So you're saying that you're going to sit in your office and try the best to coordinate people to try to stop these killings but we're not seeing any action and we're not getting any names and we're not finding out anything more than we're gonna hold the name because we don't want to offend anyone. What are we doing today to stop somebody from getting hurt tomorrow? 
That's what we're trying to figure out. That's what we want to know. Please Mr. explain. Mr. Roman, um, it is a very hard situation for everybody involved. What we mostly want to focus on here is identifying the killer, finding out why he's killing, if it's just him. Were you able to get it? Yeah, I had to wait for him to the restroom and he still almost got caught. Great, let's see him. Yo, I'm sorry for not believing you. There's no way you could have known it was true. You did. Twenty-eight year old female stabbed multiple times in the chest area outside home. What time of day? Says it around four p.m. Couldn't be him. So I'll still be at it for. Who's next? Multiple people killed outside of a house party. Axe murderer type shit. Not entirely unmotivated though. Witnesses say he was looking for some jewelry they apparently stole. That remind me of that time OJ got caught up for trying to get his husband outside of that uh, hotel room. Yeah, man. I was seeing OJ all the way for that. But not the first time that nigga did that shit. I have something you're not saying. Yo, Sherlock Holmes would have solved this shit by now. Sherlock Holmes would have definitely solved this by now. And you know what? Scratch that. I'm gonna be Sherlock Holmes. The black version. Sherlock Homeboy. Sherlock Homeboy. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but you be more like Watson, though. Nigga, you be Watson. I'm gonna be Watson when I'm smarter than you. All oh, because you're smarter than me don't mean nothing. All oh, because you can solve math problems don't mean you can solve a crime scene. Obviously. Okay, I, I think I've got something. If we narrow all these murders down to the ones that only occur at nighttime, that cuts out a huge chunk. Now if we eliminate all the ones that are gang related, gunshots and robberies, we're only left with the killings that we already know is a serial killer. So let's just say all the unsolved murders are him as well. That leads us to the exact location that all these killings are happening, which is why police are having such a hard time finding him. They're looking for our actual living being living inside of a house. This is where him being a vampire is most relevant. V, you said yourself, vampires cannot enter a home unless invited. That would make it pretty hard to murder someone inside their home. So let's just eliminate all houses. That leaves us with abandoned buildings, all locations away from the killings. Which, by the way, he covers his tracks by stabbing the victims in the neck multiple times. I say he's pretty smart. So really that leaves one place and one place only. Here. House on the end, along with the broken screen door. Yeah, I see it. Come around back, I gotta show you something. Shit back here the whole time? Yeah, I mean, it's legal. Well, most of them. Well, some of them. I don't know, man. You can pick something, I'll tell you if you do it. Fuck. Yeah, 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 that was good. Hey, uh, take off your badge.
Let me see your hands. Who are you? Well, I'm happy you're not robbers or anything, but I can tell by your training that you must be cops of some kind. Who are you is a pretty weird question to ask, considering you just illegally entered my premises. <coughs> this answer the fucking question. I'm Donnie. Who the fuck did you think I was? The fucking Lake Charles serial killer? Is that a confession? Is that really what you think? My uncle runs this town. Way above the mayor or any other pisshead that you can think of. One call to him, and I'll have you in prison get ass raped by dicks bigger than you. Well, that's extreme. Is that like a fantasy? Maybe can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, what is it? There was something I found on the computers that I didn't tell you about it. What the fuck, James? Why didn't you tell us sooner? It probably would've helped us find him quicker. What is it? Look, I didn't want to be the one to tell you this, but... Police actually did identify the victim. It was dead from class. I'm sorry. to just come on my house like this. If I wasn't this fucking sick, I would ass rape the both of you. What the fuck is up with you and rage? Man, fuck you, you stupid motherfucker. Man, you are sick. Just fucking leave. Individual fucking bad childhood having ass. Fuck this dude. Data detectives came and they showed us the pictures. It was just fucked up to see her like that, man. I just froze. Her name was Khadija. She moved into the neighborhood when I was about 10. I'll never forget, man. I had just went to the candy lady and I got me some hot chips and a frozen cup. Then come this little nappy-headed four-foot girl, man, running across the street talking about, my hair is on fire, my hair is on fire. And it was a hot day, man, so my, my frozen cup had just pretty much turned into a cup of juice. And she takes it out of my hand and just pours it over her head. And I never, I never forget, like, her mom and a woman comes running down the street and they got this pot of water and they hold her still and they pour it over her head. And that's when it, it finally registered with me that they were trying to perm her hair. Her hair fell out. She wore a beanie for like two years straight. <laughs> and she would definitely kick my ass if she knew I was telling y'all this story. I've watched this girl beat up grown men for talking about me. She held me together. I wasn't there for her when somebody decided to rip her apart. We can both get revenge. I know we said that when we see this vampire, they were just gonna talk to him, but change the plans. Look, V, I'm sorry about your friend. I'm sorry about both your friends, but you don't know how strong these vampires are. I hit him, and A he just- A vampire killed my friend, and no one believes it. I am utterly 
pissed off. If you're gonna be with us, be with us. Or you can run back across the street with the weird ass dead and don't come back. Vampires are killing people, and I want it to stop. That's the only reason why I'm helping. But you gotta watch how you talk to me. We'll use what Inu told us about vampires' weaknesses and upgrade our weapons. Then tomorrow, when that sun comes up, we slay Alistair Gray. Just for song.